Hopefully you should be getting into a bit of a groove now. Apply the ratio test. Find some sort of interval. Look at the radius of convergence, then test the endpoints. That's it. That's as simple as I can make it. Okay, ratio test, form some in interval, test the endpoints. That's it. So, let's apply the ratio test. It's the limit of a ratio. So all we have to do is somehow simplify and take the limit. Now you can see the, the powers are going to cancel pretty nicely. And I'm going to get n plus 1 all on n. Now I don't need the absolute values because the limit's going to positive infinity. So what's the limit going to be? n plus 1 on n, it's just going to be 1. So we get down to this. Now this will be less than 1 for certain values of x and greater than 1 for other values of x. So here's our little interval. x is between minus 1 and positive 1. Push. So we know that we have convergence for at least the, inter the open interval minus 1 to positive 1. So what's our radius of convergence then? If that's our interval, what's our radius of convergence? 1, right? So the last thing we've got to do is test our endpoints. What happens at x equals 1, x equals minus 1? So I plug in x equals 1 there, and I get this. Now, who can tell me, does that series converge or diverge? It diverges. Why? Huh? Man, put, put them away, man. Oh. Does it converge or diverge? Come on, you should know this. That, that bottom series. Huh? Diverges. Do you know why? You're absolutely right. Do you know why? Yes! It term test. You rule. All right? Nth term test, it's the simplest one, right? Diverges. See, that, that's pretty good when you can juggle, try to hide it, and still bring up the nth term test. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. You're on, you're on fire. The nth term test. And what about x equals minus 1? So let's go up here, put in minus 1. Does that converge or your, does that converge or diverge? Yes. Why? <laughs> what, 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 what did you say before? That's it. Right. This cannot go to zero. It just goes. You know, it'll, it'll oscillate and just get bigger and bigger and bigger each time. It can't go to zero. So again, this diverges by the nth term test. Thus, what's the, the um, convergence of this? The domain is just the open interval. 
Well done.